Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game 34 of the regular season, where the Rangers lose 4-3 to three to the Florida Panthers. And if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you would notice that this is not my room. But this is, in fact, uh, the place that I stay over in Tampa whenever I come over to Tampa. Because the Rangers play Tampa tomorrow, which is actually tonight, because it's 3.21 in the morning when I record this. And it's because of that reason, and also because of the fact that this game was just sort of a game, that this is going to be pretty quick. Uh, the Rangers lose 4-3, to three. shots were 34-32 to 32 in favor of the Rangers. This was like a pretty normal, high event game that you lose. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm upset that the Rangers didn't win, because I'm upset every time my favorite team doesn't win a game. But it was just a loss. It was a loss to a really good team where the Rangers did some really good things. They had a really nice shorthanded goal. I thought the first two goals were great efforts, but also there were a lot of times in this game where the Rangers did not display anywhere close to enough effort. The first goal, just lazy job trying to get the puck out of the zone. It ends up being Mikola because of course it was Nico Mikola. Passes it to Barkov, passes it to Evan Rodriguez, fires one, well-placed shot, quick maybe could have been in a hair of a better position, but regardless, it's in, it's one nothing. you head to the second period. And Sam Reinhart, this was a bad job de defending Sasha or Alexander, I think it's Sasha Barkov, behind the net. I love Keandre Miller, I'm wearing the 73 right now, but dear God in heaven, his defense on Sam Reinhart was just non-existent all alone in front he scores it's two nothing but the rangers respond a little bit later in the period really beautiful job on the keep in by ryan lingard going up to get the puck passes it over it was a choppy pass over to alexi lafreniere but lafreniere beautiful job to settle it immediately backhanded pass over to Artemi Panarin, who finishes a beauty, his 20th of the year for Artemi Panarin, and the Rangers, all right, it's a one-goal game, two to one. And then, a little bit after that, beautiful job in the neutral zone by Keandre Miller to get the puck, fights into the offensive zone, pass over to Will Cooley, he fires, he scores his seventh of the year. Don't sleep on Will Cooley, he's having a very nice rookie season for the Rangers. It's two apiece, cool, awesome. Then you get the second Sam Reinhardt goal. This was on a power play for the Panthers. Barkov fires it in front. Reinhardt was there, deflects it in, and they restore the 3-2 to two lead. Then, later on, the Panthers are on a power play. I believe this was the Alexi Lafreniere power play that ended up giving that to them, which was a play where Sasha Barkov... And Alexi Lafreniere came to a very unpleasant meeting. I think two minutes is fine. I don't think you could let that go. Like, here's the thing. I do not believe Lafreniere was even trying to make contact with Barkov. Barkov pretty clearly fell into that. Lof's arms were down. It's unfortunate. But at the same time, I also do not think, regardless of if it was not his fault at all, this was an accidental contact on both sides. You can't let a hit like that not be penalized. I can feel any way I want to feel about, ah, oh, well, Panera, it wasn't even a penalty. I get why that's a call. I'm not going to say anything. I'm happy it wasn't five minutes because I think that would have been ridiculous. But the two minutes, you know, I thought it was just bad accidental contact on both parties. But whatever, call it two. That's fine. And the Rangers, it didn't even matter for them because they get one on the power play. Chris Kreider muscles it away, speeds into the offensive zone, pass over to Mika Zibanejad, disgusting one-timer, and the Rangers tie back up a three-piece with less than eight to play. Cool. That's awesome. Then Carter for Hagee, and this goal sucked on account of, like, Quick got a little piece of it with the blocker, and then it just barely stayed in, like, another that much more... And it's probably not a goal, it's probably dinking off the post. And also, Barkley Gaudreau got his stick in the way of the initial shot, I think it was by Forsling, but it broke the stick. And then he couldn't defend Verhege that well and couldn't get a stick down, and he fires a shot pretty cleanly on the turn and shoot, and it goes in to make it 4-3. That's your final. And here's where I'm at with it. I don't think the Rangers played a terrible game. I also don't think they played a great game. 
there were things that I was very happy about. The effort, again, on the Will Cooley goal, fantastic. Effort on the Panarin goal, fantastic. Love to see that kind of stuff. They just look tired, which is weird on account that this is the first half of the back-to-back. -back. But if I had fallen asleep for a week and I woke up and the game was on and I watched it, I would have thought that this was the second half of a back-to-back -back and not the first half of a back-to-back. They looked tired, they looked sloppy, they looked just bleh. And that's not how you necessarily want to look going into the, like, finishing the first game of the back-to-back. -back. But, <clears throat> again, and this is very important, the Florida Panthers are a really, really, really good hockey team. I want to say they are second in the division. They are second. They are only two points behind Boston. They have a couple games on hand, but they're only two points behind Boston. This is a really great hockey team. You didn't lose a game to some bad team. You went to Florida on the road. You played them really close. I'm not going to say you played them hard because I don't think the Rangers played necessarily as hard as they could have. There was a lot to be desired. You still lost by one. And... I Quick had that awesome Scorpion save. I'm not going to take that away from him. But it's your backup in net for the first half of a back-to-back -back against a team that just came off of the Stanley Cup Finals appearance and is having a better regular season. That's the important distinction. Regular season than they did last year. It's a bummer because every time that my favorite team loses is a bummer. But sometimes you can just kind of throw your hands up and go... You're not going to win every game. Now, with that being said, uh, the next game is tonight at 7 o'clock in Tampa, taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning. I would, I would greatly appreciate you to win that game. That would be a game that I really would like the Rangers to win. If for no other reason than I can be annoying on the car ride back to, my, back, to the, back to Nathan's place. Hi, Cousin Nathan. Hope you're watching this. But again, that's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night in Tampa against the Lightning. And I'll be here very later afterwards to talk about it. But as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Rangers.